Hi, I'm Claire Barley and welcome to the Essendon District Football League Season Preview. We're counting down to the 2015 season thanks to the Pasco Vale Hotel. 12, Railway Parade, Pasco Vale. We're going to be featuring one club per day right here on the EDFL YouTube channel. Today we're in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division and looking at the runners-up from the last two years, Aberfeldy. The Gorillas have a new coach and some of the biggest recruits of the off-season, but will the disappointment of back-to-back -back grand final defeats linger in 2015? Let's ask Tara Palazzari and Adam Saracoglu. Alright Adam, so Aberfeldy, uh, obviously losing last year's grand final and the season before, they've gone out and recruited arguably two of the biggest names to arrive in the EDFL this season. Luke Blackwell coming over from the Waffle, also Brock McLean back to his junior club straight out of the AFL. Al Kefford comes back after a stint with Essendon in the VFL, apparently committed for the full season. And also a couple of interesting players to watch, Jesse Laurie from the Uni Blacks who played in their VAFA Premiership last year and Brad Vassell, a mature and experienced midfielder from the NT Thunder. So they've certainly bolstered the midfield, they've got another key forward down there as well. They really have loaded up and they want it to be third time lucky. Yeah, certainly and Adam Potter certainly are bringing a lot of experience into this side obviously, uh, having some stints at uh, VFL level obviously, coaching Coburg and the seniors and uh, assistant last year at Williamstown, so he'll obviously provide that fresh voice, which is probably what Aberfeldy need as well. Uh, certainly last year, certainly players uh, perhaps not coming to training here and there, maybe he'll be able to streamline that and make sure that everyone's on board for 2015. It might prove to be the difference to go that one step further. They will have a couple of players who have VFL teams this year. Robbie Fox, a notable out. Lockie Langwell, one of the youngsters who did play in last year's grand final. And they have lost a couple of players who've been uh, irregular senior players, not necessarily always in the best 22, but it has hit the depth a little bit, I suppose. They're in the envious position of having won the under-18s premiership and the under-16s premiership multiple times over the last 10 years. They're a proven production line of talent. It's just a question of whether they can turn that into senior success. Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh, look, they have lost a few over the summer. We mentioned uh, Tamara Dalla, Anthony Prestia, Adrian Romanik, who played regular senior games throughout the year last year and in the past couple of years as well. But I do think they've obviously gained more than they've lost. So uh, they'll be in a better position come 2015. And as we know, just like you said, uh, there's plenty of talent coming through as well. So plenty of depth at over Peldy. Now, Adam Potter's a new coach, bit of a clean slate. And he said there's been no talk about last year's grand final. But at this time last year, we were talking about the, the heartache and the motivation. Having now suffered it twice in a row, could there be some mental scars and some mental demons there that they'll have to deal with as the season goes on? Yeah, possibly, but it is a long season, so uh, eventually they're going to have to get back on track. Just worried about 2015, what they can control. Uh, perhaps, you know, if they can go deep into the finals again this year, maybe that's when it will come up and maybe they'll provide a, a little bit more spark in their game uh, if they do get to Windy Hill deep in the year. Now, we'll be giving our exact predictions at the end of this preview series right now, Adam. I'm going to give you a, a three-spot range on the ladder. Uh, pretty easy pick for me. Aberfeldy will be somewhere between first and and third, if not in the top two. Where do you think Aberfeldy will be at the end of the season? Yeah, I still think they're going to be top three as well, Teo. Uh, they could possibly slip down the fourth, you never know, but you know, if we're going to go to that three-team range, I reckon they will be top three again once more. Stick with us. At the end of the preview series, we will give our exact predictions for all three ladders. That's Aberfeldy from Strathmore Community Bank. Premier Division, though, we both think they'll be right there again when the whips are cracking. That's it for this edition of the Essendon District Football League 2015 season preview. Keep watching the EDFL YouTube channel for more videos and we'll see you back here at the Pasco Vale Hotel soon.